Hey everyone, thanks for watching. We're gonna go ahead and jump into a hunt that happened on October 12th. It was a Saturday, it's the second week or second weekend of Texas archery season. So uh, I was hunting the same stand where a couple weeks ago I shot that eight point, he's still alive. So I came in here hoping to get a chance at him. So you're gonna see the footage and then, you know, make sure you watch all the way to the end because I've got some tips for you if you're getting into traditional archery. So this should help you a lot. And so y'all watch this footage and then at the end, I'll go over that. So thank you. Around 8.30, I caught some movement and there was a nice buck working to the right. Unfortunately, I didn't really get any footage of him. It was too late. A little while later, I had this flock of geese flying towards me. So I tried to get a little bit of camera footage for you guys. And uh, you can see him going to the right there. About 15 minutes later, I had some movement to my left, to the south of me, and I could see the spike coming at me. He had the choice of going to the left. If he did, he would have went to the feeder, but he goes to the right down this trail that gives me about a 15-yard broadside shot. Uh, right here, I actually go back to full draw on him, and he did stop, but he was out of camera view, and not only that, but because of how hard he was quartering, I was just kind of worried about that shot. If I would have been to the left, it would have been in his shoulder or to his right. It would have been in his back hip. So I didn't feel like it was a, a good option for a shot. So I elected to pass on him. He works his way up this little road and uh, he ended up going toward my pastor's stand. Now that you've seen my footage, my pastor was hunting uh, not too far from me, about 350 yards from me. So uh, we're going to jump into some of his footage. He had uh, some good sightings of deer. He's seen the same spike that I passed on her. And then, uh, you know, he's seen this other buck that's a nice eight point that had no brows. Buck I call no brow. He was actually at the feeder uh, whenever I shot that other buck. So if you haven't watched that hunt, make sure you watch it. It was a... Uh, called Recurve uh, Hunting Texas, I believe is the name of that video. So I'll put that in the link at the end if you want to see that footage where you can see him up close and personal. Now that you've seen all of my footage and his footage, I wanted to bring to you a couple tips. So, uh, you know, opening weekend, the deer were just hammering the feeders, hitting that corn. But since then, the acorns have started dropping. And so they're, you know, going on those oak ridges and just hammering those acorns. They're walking right by feeders. So what I wanted to make mention of, if you're hunting traditional style, I like hunting over a feeder because it gives you a great shot opportunity but uh, I'm not just hunting over a feeder. What I like to do is find a good travel corridor. So that's gonna help you. So as you noticed, uh, whenever that spike came around and came up to me, uh, he had two options. If he went to the left, he would've went to my feeder. If he went to the right, he would've walked down the trail. So I have multiple trails. So it's a natural funnel that comes through there. So there's a trail in front of me and a trail behind me and then also one that actually kind of came out there's multiple Y's and forks so there's deer trails that naturally the deer want to go through here that deer looked at the feeder but he never went to it just because the acorns are everywhere right now so you know he's preferring and eating those so that's one tip for you you know if you're hunting traditional archery you want to find a good trail uh, and you know that's how for the majority you know I hunt a lot of trails a lot of you know rubs and scrapes and edges that's traditionally how I normally hunt. I do hunt a lot of public land. This is a, a lease, so uh, you know we are allowed to bait here. So if it's legal and it gives me a great opportunity to add a, a better shot opportunity where you know deer's going to be stationary, you know I'm all for it. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, God bless you all. And if you haven't done so, please help me out by hitting that subscribe button. You know I'm you guys who watch these videos, girls who watch these videos. Only like 6% of people or 4% of people are subscribed. So there's a lot of you who are watching my videos that aren't subscribed yet. So please help me out by subscribing. And, you know, go over those playlists. I've got a lot of really good hunts. 
and uh, some really good kills on film. So got a lot more coming this year. So y'all stay tuned and hopefully, you know, we'll knock down a couple big ones. So y'all have a good one.